Hi, I'm Andrew Stevenson, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your AI generated coloring book pages, in this case, Mid Journey, into vectors. The reason vectors are preferable to PNGs or JPEGs is that they are scalable. You can make them any size you want and you won't lose quality. PNG and JPEG, you will get some pixelation the closer you zoom into the picture or the larger you stretch it. There are two ways to do this. The first way I'm going to show you is online using a website called vectorizer.com. So here is the image from Midjourney using the simple prompt which you saw previous. It was something like Colour and book image suitable for children. Simple. It's not too bad if you ignore this guy's funny eye. But if we zoom in, you can see it starts to pixelate. And we didn't really have to zoom in that far. Now there are websites where you can upload an image and it makes it bigger and it gives it a greater resolution. But by vectorizing it, you, you you take away any chance of the image being blurry or fuzzy. So that's the original image. And this is vectorizer.com. It's free, you don't have to install anything, and you don't have to register. So you upload the image, and I'll just drag it in there. There we go, it's uploaded and converted. Now all you need to do is press download. And here are the two images side by side. On the left is the original, on the right is the vectorize. And as we zoom in, you can see it's starting to blur and pixelate. On the right hand side, nothing just crisp smooth lines so that's one way it works well it is free for the minute the second way to vectorize your images is to use a bit of software called inkscape so this is inkscape.org it's free software and here is some of the, the information about it it's a handy, free piece of graphic software. It also has the option to bitmap trace, which is something that Adobe can do, but Affinity can't. So if you use Affinity, this is a very good way of tracing your colour book images. It's easy to download, and the, the set wizard is you know, easy to follow, just a few clicks. And when you when you start a new document, this is the page you'll get. Now there are lots of options here, but we're just going to use this for one job today, and that is to make a vector image of that lion and his. F so I'll just drag the image in. And shrink it down so that's the image you can see it, it's blurry it is the original to create it into a SVG just go to path trace bitmap and all of these settings so the fine as they are you can experiment but um, this is how the setup originally and this works fine and click apply And now you have the SVG on top of your original image. So we'll delete the original. There you go, SVG is very smooth. And now all you need to do is export this as an SVG. 
and we'll file export here are the export options click to play an SVG click the browser to export it somewhere and now I have a folder called vector tracing so I'll save it in there ignore this bit here it, it'll save as a SVG because of the selection there so I'll call this uh, lion pals and that's that export so here we are back in publisher there are the original images i'll upload the new one here me lion pals image so we'll zoom in here nice and smooth everything looks crisp and clear it's just as clear as the vectorizer one if not better see there are a few little errors there the nose isn't quite as rounded and there's a little bit of grey but all in all two very easy and free ways to convert your mid-journey colour and book pages into a nice clean vector so that is it for today's video, just a quick one, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.